Hello there guys and gals, The Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another, and as always, 100% achievement slash trophy guide, and this time we are getting it all in the hilarious D-E-E-E-E-R simulator. Now this was developed by Gibia, Gibia Games, either one, uh, published by Playism, and is usually available for £16.74, but is a day one Xbox Game Pass game, so again, get them buns on that Game Pass, huns. So, where to start with this? It's basically Goat Simulator, except we are a deer, and we have to do stuff. We knock stuff around, and we mess stuff up. We find some portals, you know, all the normal simulator stuff. It's a fun game, even if it is slightly on the short side. Now, as for achievements, only two are story-related, more or less, but we get a few for defeating bosses. Don't worry, they're all easy, and with other tricks I can show you. Playing mini-games, turning cows into burgers, you know, all the rage. Uh... With this one, this will hurt the PETA, or Peter, or Useless Buttholes for short, so bugger off and leave me alone if you've got any complaints. We are going to be mashing up some mice, deers, and all sorts of animals in this game. So, sorry about that. <laughs> Either way, we have to do what's basically the last battle twice for two different endings, so you'll be looking at around one to two hours for the completion. And so, with that being said then, let us begin. So you can mess around with this if you want to, we're just going to randomise the guy. Nice hard hat, nice massive big big legs there. Bigger than mine and I apparently work out. That's depressing. So we can just skip the cutscene which we're going to do by pressing the start button and then click yes to be reborn and we're going to get our first achievement. This one's story related. Again, any cutscenes I am going to be skipping. Now what we can do is press the left trigger to basically sprint like this. The A button to jump. Again, so dash holding the left trigger, and then what we're going to do is go up to a start going up to a bunch of people if we don't get run over. If you do, just press the A button to jump and get yourself back. And then what we can do, go up to people and then just press up when you are there. This basically turns them into a deer by putting some horns on their head. Would have been nicer if you'd seen the whole transformation and they're getting all... But, you know, that's fan too. So what we're going to do, we need to uh, turn 10 humans into deer... So, there's more than enough humans, um, it's just a case of finding them all. But yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's not exactly Goat Simulator. The Goat is Goat Simulator, um, without a doubt. But it's still, like I said, a relatively fun game, even if it is quite short. So, uh, you press the right trigger to attack, um, to equip items and things. Uh, well, it'll be more weapons, you press the Y button as we are just wandering around. I mean, the deer when he's running looks properly jacked. Or he looks like, you know, those really skinny guys that think they are lats are massive, so they think they're wide as hell, when actually they're just skinny balls and they've got nothing going for them. Yeah, you know the chocolate boy, chocolate boys, the one who goes out with rugby's and... Ugh, the boys who go out to the rugby and wears, you know, those brown shoes with, like, chinos and... Yeah, th those types. Anyway, this one is done, dead or dear, so what we can do is actually just restart the level now. Uh, so as long as you get the 10, press the start button, retry the level. What we're going to do now is head over to the big cow on the right. Oof, tell you what, that, uh, that udder can feed bloody tons of children for months. You want to suckle on the cow's udder? Yeah, you go for it. Plenty of milk, straight from the cow's titty. Anyway, head over to the big cow and play here. Now, this is a random game. It can be potentially quite frustrating, but i done it. You press the Y button, by the way, to play. Um, <laughs> there it is, Y button to play. So, if you've played this type of game before, um, you know, you might know what's going on. Uh, we need to do cow AI battle. So, basically, what you have to do is interact with the green patches... Again, I didn't go in with any particular um, tactic or anything. I literally just picked wherever the most white cows were. Obviously, we need to turn the cows black. So, it'll be his turn. So, pick any of the, the sort of darker patches. And that will make it work. So, again, I just literally went wherever the most of the white cows were. So, no tactic. I just kind of done it in random spots. And it seemed to work for me the first time. So, if you don't get it the first time, just... Try and think wherever, you know, try and have a look at where the most cow cows are. The cows do move as well, so, you know, bear that one in mind. Otherwise, it's, you know, if you've played this type of game before, I can't remember what the bloody game's called, apologies. Um, you know, you'll know exactly what you're doing, but um, 
for me, I've never played this crap before, so I just sort of clicked a bunch of random, random, uh, <laughs> random buttons and went a bit random, and basically you'll win when the cows are basically full on the board. But eventually, you should get it, and you will get the Divine Move achievement, and happily, we can move on. So again, apologies if the explanation wasn't that fantastic, but hopefully you would have got it anyway by looking exactly at what I was doing. So we're going to retry and then immediately go behind you and have a look inside this uh, bit of dead airplane right here and press the Y button to equip the weapon. And for some reason, a deer can pull a trigger on a gun. Fantastic. Head out and head to the right and we're going to see another gun. A little machine gun, so again, press the Y button to equip that. And what we're going to do is start heading over to the big cow. Let's go and suck on that cow, Titty. Let's get some milk for the kids. Mmm. Oh, <laughs> I've got a pubic hair in here. What the hell? Right, I... <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Cows don't have pubic hairs, red. Right? Red. Yeah. Anyway, I thought I could have just um, jumped straight over that, but apparently not. Head into the basketball court here, and then what we're going to do is just press Y next to a cow to ride him. That's going to get us the God Disguised as a Cow achievement. Now, what we need to do is head over basically to the back of this map... Um, to that little sort of island which looks like a runway. So that's where we're heading next. Now the easiest way to do this is to fly sideways. If you try uh, flying forward, uh, I don't think anything happens. So you sort of need to fly to the side. And there, here is the runway then. Obviously the map and the next map is extremely small. But you're going to see three big red buttons there. One is already going to be pushed. And the middle one, we need the cow on it. So just make sure that the button's gone down. And then, <laughs> well... For me, I got flung high up as hell, man. When you unequip from that, try your name not where I did. Hey, nice fish, bro. Run over to the other side, and all we need to do is press the uh, press the next button, and then we're going to get the metal deer. Even though it kind of looks like again Peter's worst nightmare, where a bunch of animals are dead and chain linked together. And any vegan who's watching this now is having a, probably having a stroke already at the thought of this game. <laughs> How dare you chain link animals together? Uh, uh, no. Apparently that's heart attack noises. Ah, pretty close. Anyway, head over to it and this will get us the achievement. And eventually it will unlock. Now to fly, just hold the left trigger, hold the A. And there we go. So there we go, so holding the A wheel boost us forward. Now what we need to do is get uh, the disaster level A. Now as you can see in the top right hand corner, it's E at the minute. So basically it's kind of like a Grand Theft Auto type thing. Now the more destruction you do, the more and bigger the police come out. So all we need to do is just keep destroying buildings and we need to just keep destroying the police when they first come. Now the first set of police are sheep. Uh, the second one is going to be a police car with a polar bear attached underneath, because why not? Um, but again, what we'll need to be doing as well is equipping as many weapons as we can. Now, you find all of these weapons underneath buildings you destroy, so that's why we're going to go sort of mainly for the buildings first. Um, <laughs> again, I, I, again, I've got no idea what's going on, but it's all fantastic, right? So again, just keep destroying buildings. There is a giant ko koala bear which we need to destroy, but that's why we need to get all the weapons first. So keep destroying, keep destroying. Eventually, we're going to get uh, floppy ears. God damn, the ear walker, I think it's called. So what we're going to do now is just unequip ourselves, kill everything. Don't worry about ammo or anything. You are pretty much golden as nuggets. So just kill all the polar bears, kill all the sheep for the time being. And this, the red lights then, try, obviously try and avoid the red lights. Uh, they are the ear walkers, as it were. So just keep having a look now in every um, every building that you've destroyed. Again, we're just going to try and grab every gun that we can. Do some jumping. Yeah, be safe, man. Some nice grenading. I mean, this is definitely better than Twilight. Definitely better than Twilight, right? <laughs> and yes, I know it's an old joke, but Twilight can suck it. Yeah, so for now, again, just keep smashing about, just grabbing every gun that you can. If you feel like you, if you, if you do feel like you're still shortly unequipped, again, just go on and keep destroying buildings because we need to get that disaster level up to A. Currently on B at the minute. Ah, kill the rabbits. You know, I, I'd kill the rabbits. I would as well. Get, 
Kill those bunnies. Ha ha ha. Peter. Oh, my heart. Oh my god, I'm having a stroke. You just killed some bunnies. Oh. Etc. Etc. Right, so we've defeated all the cops. Now, just destroy a couple more buildings. Again, you might destroy the cops a, a little bit sooner than I do, but whatever. So, now we're going to get a dog coming from the sky. Now, he's not going to attack us yet. We have to go to him, which we will do in just a mo. Officer, Officer Fluff Bag. Officer Fluffy Balls right there. So, again, again, if you're feeling unequipped, go ahead, destroy a few more buildings and get a couple more weapons. Otherwise, what you can do is just basically now go ahead and kill this uh, koala bear. So shoot him, just keep shooting, and because you should be well equipped, you should kill him pretty much instantaneously. So uh, what we're going to do now is head back to the water, don't worry, you can walk on the water. And we're going to head basically where the runway was, and there's going to be a giant fish floating in the sky. Now I've done these achievements in such an order where it's all seamless, rather than doing it in sort of random intervals. Uh, just I found it the quickest way to be honest. So there he is then giant fish face in the sky What you need to do is start shooting him and as he comes towards you You need to shoot in his mouth. That is what's going to kill the boy So as soon as he starts flying down just make sure to shoot in his big fat gob and the top of his head falls off because <laughs> why the flip net? So now we are going to go to officer fluff balls um, Only this time he is a chunky big fluff ball. So he is actually in this area there he is in the sort of archway underneath the A, but there is a specific way that we're going to need to shoot this dog. So he's basically going to turn into a transformer, as if he couldn't probably just chow us down enough because he's a chunky boy, big chunkus. So the dog's going to have uh, sheep on his feet, which we need to shoot first, and then shoulder uh, police cars on his shoulders. So again, avoid his attack. Very, very easy, but just shoot the sheep feet and he's going to start falling. There it is, and then what you need to do is shoot the police car until it um, turns over, and then press the left bumper button. There is a switch on the back of the police car that we need to press the left bumper button on to attach ourselves to basically press it, but for some reason, I'm having trouble with that one. So again, <laughs> so again you know, try and um, aim yourself up. He stays sitting down, you know, he stays on the floor for about five seconds or so, so it's probably worth just taking aim, just... Um, there we go. <laughs> Probably worth, as I said, just taking your time. Don't rush into it. There we go. So this time, so that's the first one I do. So again, all you need to do then is keep shooting the sheep feet. Press the red button, and then that should be that. Then we can just shoot the dog. Oh, dead. Wahaha. <laughs> we just killed a dog. How do you feel? Do you feel disgusting? Do you feel like you have to go out and buy a dog now just because you killed this guy? So, finally, after many tries, this is going to be the time where I actually hit the thing, and this one is just about as well. So that'll not explode, so just shoot the doggy straight away. He's going to go for a spin, and that is that. So, again, these boss fights may seem like they're pretty tricky, but honestly, they're not that bad at all. Um, so press the left trigger when you buy the dog. That is basically going to hold the dog with your incredible steroid-infused deer strength, apparently. Like I said, you are a international Welsh <laughs> rugby fan, or international rugby fan. You've got your uh, disgusting brown shoes on. You've got no, uh, you know, no socks on, and you've got those ankle biter jeans on as well. You know, all the rage, right? Anyway, bring him over to this tower, and then right here is on. Uh, just put him on this button. Now you can let him go, and now we can jump over to the other side. Bam. That is how the portal opens. So it is in this tower. It was just to the right of where we just done that boss fight right there. But this portal opens up. And now we can just move on inside. You know, don't be scared. Take a jump in. What would be good, actually, is a deer versus goat simulator. Or would it be good? Or would that be crap? No, that would probably be terrible, wouldn't it? So, first things first. Starting your heading over to the right, what we're going to do is do a uh, an achievement called Genius. We have to figure out the animal puzzle. So, this is nice. We've got some rhinos right there. But just keep heading all the way to the right, over to the watery bit. And straight in front of us, you've got Kim Jong-un, apparently, as a panda. 
whatever the hell that's supposed to be. It definitely is Kim Jong-un-esque. Please don't bomb me, North Korea. I would appreciate it. Um, <laughs> I want to live. Anyway, all you got to do then, you can play it on easy rather than impossible, of course, to get this done as quick as you can. And then all you got to do is put the animal back the way it was. But the rotations can be slightly confusing. Now, this does take me about 40 seconds to do. Um, I think it's probably random. Not sure if it is random or not, but hopefully if it's not, you can get it done a little bit quicker than I did. I was just sort of button mashing and eventually it all just came together. Two-headed deer, the stuff of nightmares. Just like me in the nude, stuff of nightmares. Bleh. <laughs> we am's genius. Well done, everyone. You solved an easy puzzle. So, now you can go to all the universities you want because you are hardcore and very intelligent. Right, let us go and get some guns, shall we? Now, basically, back sort of to the middle of where we came. There we go. On these sort of metal crates, if you want, there are a bunch of metal boxes. Um, so, what we're going to do is just um, grab some weapons for now because, of course, we need it to... Do all types of things. Now, every time you destroy a couple of these, you're going to get quite a few um, sort of weapons and everything. So, ee -ee. Now, with this uh, rocket booster as well, it can be kind of hard to uh, <laughs> control it. But, uh, yeah. That's all we're going to do for now is just head sort of... There's a couple of middle, middle uh, metal boxes just over the other side of the road there. So, go ahead, shoot them. Grab some weapons. What would have been funnier is if they had one of those uh, big Saints Row dildos in there as well. That would have made the game even better, but, uh, you know, maybe in the DLC, eh? So, with that one done then, what we're going to do now is go and um, basically kill or shoot at six rhinos. So, here is the first one, and then what he's going to do, he's going to die and spit out the next one. So, then, that's all we got to do. That's basically it now for the next six. So, <laughs> if you can, if you don't end up getting stuck like a big donkey ass like me right here, there we go. So, again, probably easier to do from the side, doesn't make a difference what, but just keep killing all the rhinos, and eventually the sheep are going to start coming down as well. Uh, the sh sheep police. Uh, but we're just going to keep focusing on the rhinos for now. So every time you kill one, again, he just whaps out another smaller one. For some reason, can't shoot through glass, but we can kill people. So, you know, there you go, Peter. We just killed a human, which is always what you want, isn't it, you? Son of a bitches. Um, just keep killing the rhinos. Obviously, it gets harder to kill the ones... Um, as it goes down. But this will be the final one. The sheep are going to be appearing. There they go. So again, if you want to just kill them for now. Now, what you should get roughly around now, roughly about the same time, is the sheep counting achievement. Basically for killing 100 sheep. And we've just destroyed the fifth rhino there as well. So counting sheep. Again, you might get this now. You might get it a little bit later on. But again, you will get that at some point. So don't panic your buns off about it. Just keep destroying the rhino for now. Just keep focusing. Keep focusing on the rhino. Rhino death. Oh my god. I tell you what. Killing rhinos. Rhino fans have literally just crapped their pants. And they are, they are boycotting this game right now. You can't kill the rhinos. Ah, ah, killing the rhinos is so bad. Which actually it is. It is actually kind of a big problem. But you know. I just laugh at people who cry. Right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to be getting the achievement for basically equipping 30 weapons. So just keep destroying buildings for now and equip weapons until you get the achievement. Uh, let's see, where is it? The uh, deer hunting achievement. So there we go. So I've got it pretty quickly. Equipped 30 weapons. There we go. I'll acquire a total of. So again, that's one you could have got just before or one you can get a little bit later on. But we've still got a lot of it, weapons to equip anyway, so don't panic if you don't get it now. 
Right, so what we're actually going to be doing now is getting the Dear Zaster level A once again. So just like the first one, um, just keep avoiding, just keep shooting, just keep killing. <laughs> Apparently in this timeline, the Polar Bear Police Car's got a goddamn upgrade. Pure Transformer style this time. Now just keep killing until you get to number level A. So there we go then, as soon as we get to number A, the um, next portal will open up. So again, you can either just, you know, run run for it like I do, because screw those guys, we're going here. Let's go past the rhinos, basically towards the beginning, uh, but head here, but don't go into the portal just yet. I just want to show you one thing, what you can do, when you get to disaster level B, um, you're going to see this little, little checkered floor. Um, press the Y button to play. Now, basically, you can actually alter how many number of cops are on each disaster level, which means that you can put them all to zero. So, whatever you do, and whatever you destroy, no cops will appear, which, again, will come in handy for an achievement or two uh, a little touch later on. So, we're going to chuck it all down to zero for now. Tidy as ball bag beans. I didn't know ball bag beans were a thing, or if they're tidy. But anyway, what we're going to do now, we are going to just head through the portal. And what this is going to be, uh, well, we're basically going to fight our future self. Now, it's it's kind of the take on your Dark Souls thing. So a tricky boss gets joined by another tricky boss. Um, but of course, since this is D your simulator. So, head up. What you have to do, um, basically, we're going to kill our future self. We're going to try to kill our future self. 
But I want to show you a trick. If you are, if you do seem to be struggling, swords will appear. Press the left trigger to hold it. And again, just keep attacking. Now, what will happen is, when you die three times, um, the fourth time you try this boss fight, you will get an extra heart. If you die that time, you will get another extra heart. And so on and so forth. So basically, instead of trying to be all sneaky and, you know, trying to do all the good dodging and stuff, I'm showing you I'm dying here, to be honest. Um... Because I did die three times. Again, you can go around and be all ninja-like, but ain't nobody got time for that. Um, so I literally just focus on meleeing the crap out of these two deers. And it, ba it basically works. So, so as you can see, that. So basically for me, that was my third time dying. Now this is the fourth time I'm doing this fight. And as you can see, I've already got the fourth heart. So again, all I do... Is I mean you're gonna get it eventually anyway. So if you die five times, you'll get six hearts and so on and so forth. So eventually, if you just keep going into them, melee in the crap out of them, you are eventually gonna get it. Um, I done it on. In fact, I done it on this one actually. Uh, and then the second time going through, I actually um, got up to five hearts and done it that time. So you shouldn't have a problem. Just literally keep melee on them, keep attacking the crap out of them until the both of them die and succumb to their injuries again peter and his uh, and their stroke is getting bigger and bigger as we kill a bunch of deers Except you've got one more to do. Now this is basically like a quick time event. Now I've put it on the screen because it can be very confusing. So basically you'll see here when he turns red. Because all that just confuses the crap out of me. Just piss off. I couldn't be asked. So when he turns red you press left on the d-pad. When he turns green press up on the d-pad. And when he uses the barrier like just then you press right on the d-pad. And that will use your specific attacks. So... The way I just thought of it was red left, up green. And for some reason, I just found that a lot easier. So hopefully this one helps you out as well. Go on, doggo. You got this, boy. Now, that fight is easy, but it can get confusing, like I said, with the um, button prompts, but hopefully you got that one. So what we're going to do first is don't fire. Um, these are basically the two endings now. So what we're going to choose is don't fire. But what is going to happen now is we get placed into this. After this cutscene, I do skip it, um, you know, for longevity and everything. But what happens now is we get placed in this sort of survival mode thing. Now, what you can do is... Again, a bunch of weapons will be equipped, and you can press the Y button again to um, shoot everything and do whatever and be nice and chill with it. What I end up doing, though, is literally just running, running around, dodging everything, because when you run through enemies, they can't actually hurt you. So, if you try and attack this polar bear, for instance, with a melee, he's going to whap one heart off you. So, I literally just keep running around and jumping up and down. Um... Also, a couple of things, just like with the future self boss fight, if you do die four times, five times, six times, you get an extra heart as well to keep going with as well, which I do. Um, and also, if you get far enough into um, this fight, you will actually um, have to... Re you if you sort of die now, you will have to replay from the beginning, but if you get a little bit further, you don't have to do the beginning bit. So, again, just keep that one in mind. But again, you know, I can't be arsed shooting around and trying to be all... Nambi Pambi with it. I literally just keep running around and eventually I'm gonna start jumping up and down as well because Why not? It's just a good. <laughs> it's just a good dodging technique uh, but I do like I said I do end up dying and I End up there we go. So with this guy I end up just jumping and then I just keep jumping because why the hell not? But again, you know you can do it whatever way you particularly want. I just found it easier to just be dodging like hell
And there we go then. So now we'll get the cutscene for the true ending as we, um, as our self tries to flub us up. I do keep this cutscene in actually because it's pretty badass. Although literally he could have just stuck his head in the sun first and then whacked him earlier, but there we go. Bam! Uh, <laughs> that face. Uh, no kids, you just hit me in the face, you son of a bitch! But that is, yeah, that is the true ending. Um, <laughs> I'm so happy I'm dead, you guys. I le <laughs> that face is just hilarious. <laughs> it's so funny. And then you've got, you know, rugby fan jacked as hell when he's actually about eight stone when wet. Thinking that he's uh, done the job. I, wish, I mean, to be fair, we did. But like I said, that is the true ending. But again... And what kind of annoys me about this part is, to get the other ending, we actually have to go through the same boss fights again. The future self boss fights, which... Um, again, depending on how good and skilled you are, etc. That can take you anywhere between 10 and 20 minutes. So, a bit of a pain in the ass, really. But, that's what we got to do. And trust me, we've done worse for achievements, guaranteed. Grand Theft Auto Trilogy, anyone? <laughs> Just joking. Uh, and some of the stuff, you know. Right, so that is that one anyway. We're going to go through the credits now. Oh, in fact, no, sorry. No, I again, I keep this cutscene in because it's hilarious. Because somebody stuck a Viagra down her neck, as you'll be able to see now. <laughs> like hell. She's not running because she's like, oh, I'll be right back. Let me just put on something sexy. Uh, look, look, I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. So if Viagra can do this to your neck, what else can it do for your genitalia? Uh... Uh... Viagra got stuck. <laughs> uh, that's, um... That's so pointlessly hilarious. But I did enjoy that ending. And like I said, we're going to go through the next boss bit again, which is a... Again, having to go through all that is a bit of a pain in the ass. But for now, anyway, we can just skip the cutscenes. You know, the fast forward them or quit them, whatever. Gibia or Jibia games. Sorry, I really just... I hope I just didn't butcher that. But anyway, what we can do now is start again. And now, because we've done that particular big survival mode final boss thing, as you can see in front of us, there is a dragon. What we're going to do first is head to the left. And what we're going to do is uh, just put all the number of cops down to zero again. Because, you know... Now, why didn't they put cops as pigs in this game? That would have been... That would have been the thing to do, right? Although, then again, they'd have probably been arrested. Because uh, somebody would have been offended by it, I, I assume. You know, somebody got offended by Mike Myers in the Halloween films killing firefighters. Because apparently he only targets firefighters. <laughs> anyway, jump onto the dragon's back. Press left bumper to go into flying mode. And then we're going to head to the basketball court once again. There we go. And we've got all the cows we need. Again, press the um, left trigger to go down. And then just press the right trigger to flame at least four of these into delicious McDonald's hamburgers. The ones that gives you the epic diarrhea poops afterwards. And that's the 100% beef. Actually, no, that's not McDonald's, because that's about 30% beef, and then the rest is probably just made up with crap they find on the floor, I assume. Still tastes good, so I'm not <laughs> I'm not disappointed with that. So, with that one done, we've now just got two achievements left. And like I said, the one is for getting the first ending, but I just wanted to get this one out of the way first, since we've got the dragon already. And eventually, if this big-ass douchebag can fly, get back to Game of Thrones land, you big-ass, if you can't fly. Anyway, what we're going to do is head back through the portal again. Here we go. And then just head through the next portal. What I'm not going to show you is the boss fight again. So just remember, you know, this time it took me five tries to defeat the first two bosses. Um, which again, like I said, it's a bit of a pain in the ass. But it is going to probably take you another 10 to 20 minutes, depending again on how skilled you are. For me, not very skilled apparently. <laughs> but as soon as you kill the two, do the two boss fights. Whoa. Whoa, Nelly, come back, you stupid butt face. There we go. So going back to the portal. But again, I've, I'd cut this out of the video. You don't want to see me doing that again. You, you'll already be doing it. 
So again, it can take anywhere between 10, 15, 20 minutes. Here is the end of the second boss fight. What bam Oh, look at that. And then what we're going to do is actually choose fire this time. Pop! Pop him in the bun sacks. Pop him in the deer balls. Oh, yeah, that must pinch. And then what's going to happen is we don't actually have to do a stupid survival mode this time. Ugh. Well, <laughs> hello, Mr. Deer. How do you do? Ugh. There we go. So D E E E E E E Simulator is done. The achievement should unlock for us right now. Gibbia Jibbia Games. Okay, there it is. So now we can quit. Now we've only just got one achievement left to do. And that's for basically killing the big monkey. Which again, you could have done earlier on if you wanted to. But since you're following this guide, I know... I know you want me. Right, what we need to do is actually go through the portal again. For whatever reason, I decided to go around the whole map instead of just turning left and go in there. So, you know, if you want to. I think I wanted to try and go all the way around, but that didn't work. So, well, thanks for making me look like a jackass on national YouTube guides. There we go. So, whack down Tesco Burger right there. Go past the job center, the train station. Job center, train station. Or, oh, sorry, the welfare office. Because, you know, Americans and Britons are different. And British, British is usually right. But, uh, you know, we'll save that argument for another day. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm joking, Americans. You're all sexy. Alright, so anyway, head <laughs> through the portal again. Yes, you're sexy. Even the 28 stone legends. <laughs> Delicious. You know the ones that uh, go to the sort of $10 buffets morning, noon and night? Where the hell are you getting that money from? Oh, that's right, the American taxpayers. Right, so, anyway, what we're going to do is head slightly to the right. And on this sort of main stretch of road, we're going to see the dragon down here. So, you're going to whap your bun sacks on that bad boy. Looks more like the uh, dragon from Shrek, doesn't he, where he starts sucking off the donkey. How did that but How did that come about in the writer's office, by the way, in Shrek? Oh, how can we, um... How can we shock people? I know, donkey got right inside dragon. Okay. Anyway, there's two wheels and a bunch of humans right here. We're going to kill all of them. And we'll uh, talk about that Shrek riding another day. So anyway, kill all the humans and kill the two mice and then the lights will go off. Now, what you're going to see behind you is a big monkey. You know the, the sort of one from Toy Story and the one with the big bloody... Yeah, that thing right there. The one that notices where you are very weirdly. What we're going to do is actually sneak up behind it. That's going to be the best way. Uh, because we need to burn it quickly, and if you try and do it from the front, you're not going to do it quickly, and you're going to die. So don't worry about destroying things and the noises and everything. He is cool. So just get nice and slowly up behind him. Get yourself nice and ready, comfortable into position. And there you go. Attack, right trigger. And there we go. That will be that. So there it is then. So I am D E E E E er. As for unlocking all of the achievements, I don't know why this one unlocked first, but still, all good. But that is the end of D E E E E Ear Simulator, your average everyday D E E E E Ear game. Oh man, I think I need a break after that. Again, don't don't be surprised if they whack out some DLC for this in the future. But for now, there we go then, guys and gals. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the game. Hope you enjoyed the guide and that it helped as well. If it did, don't forget, of course, to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend. Don't forget to check me out on my socials, you know, your Facebooks and Twitters and Instagrams and Patreons. Big, big, huge shout-out, by the way, to my newest Patreons, Eagles069, and a massive shout-out to Lucas Ray. Thank you so, so much for joining. You guys are absolutely fantastic. And a big shout out to everyone who continues to just interact with me on the daily as well. And that is that then, guys and gals. So, well, I guess I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, big love.